Hello everybody, my name is Dee and welcome to Books and Quirks. Today is Friday. It's time for a Friday Reads and I am here this week. So last week I was in Missouri. I had a great time. Uh, it was for work, but I came back really sick. So I don't know what it is. I'm still a little bit under the weather, but I'm feeling better. So I thought, ah, I'll film even though I'm still a little bit not completely 100% well. But anyway, I hope that you all had a good week. Um, or a good, I should say a good couple of weeks. I hope you had a good couple of weeks. And I am really excited because October is starting soon. It's my favorite month of the year. I love Halloween. I love all things fall. My birthday falls in the month, so I'm really just happy all around that September is soon coming to a close as of Sunday. I think Sunday is the 30th, right? So I did not get to read a whole lot the past two weeks between being uh, working out of state and also being sick. I just really didn't get a chance to read a whole lot other than a couple of net galleys, which I'll talk about in another video. So, but I do have a TBR planned for this weekend and for this coming week. And I will just get started into that. So the first book that I want to talk about is Only Forward by uh, Michael Marshall Smith. So I spoke about this book two weeks ago. I said I was going to start it and I didn't. <laughs> I never got to it. I only got 20 pages in. Um, the 20 pages I really love, but I really plan to get to dig into this one because I'm so excited and even though I only got 20 pages in it's really good so far so this is a world all I know so far from the 20 pages is this is a world where it consists of neighborhoods and each neighborhood has its own rules but it's like completely out of reality. So in one world, it's called the city. And, you know, the walls seem to have their own thoughts and they change around and uh, the streets change and everything. Everything seems to be its own, has its own mind. And yeah, very weird things happen. And I don't even know how to explain it. Another world is totally based on color, so they don't have clocks. So based on the color of like your walls or the streets, you'll know what time it is. It's so weird, but it's so good. It's a good weird. And it's forwarded by Neil Gaiman. Um, the forward is only two pages long, but it already got me excited for the book. So really excited to get into more of this this week to finish it. So the next book that I am actually buddy reading this week, and it will go into next week, is Tyrant's Throne by Sebastian D. Castell. This is the fourth book in the Great Coat series, and I'm reading it with Amber of Amber Eats Books, Candace of Beacon Hill Books, Cheryl of CR Flames Fan, uh, Sean of On the Stoop, and I think that's everybody. I hope I didn't forget anybody, but I will link all of their channels below. Um, I've read with all of them before, as you know, if you've watched any of my previous videos. And yeah, it's just a blast. And we're reading about 50 pages a day. So by the end of today, we will be a little more than a third of the way, I think, through. Really loving it. I, As you know, um, if you've heard me talk about it before, I absolutely love this series. So I'm reading Tyrant's Throne through ebook, but I do own the physical copies of the first three. So the first book is Traitor's Blade. The second book is Night Shadow. And the third book is Saint's Blood. These are quite thick books. That's why it takes such a long time to get through, but I really love the three main characters, Falcio, Kest, and Brasti. They just light my day with their wit. <laughs> so the next book that I will be starting this week, and I actually plan on reading it during the week, starting on Monday, because for October, I want to make a whole TBR 
I also will make a Spookathon TBR that is taking place from October 15th to the 21st, I believe. And I'm really excited for everything, you know, thriller, mystery, scary, kinds of those kinds of books, just weird books. So the first book I plan on reading starting Monday is The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. I've read In a Dark, Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. really enjoyed it. It wasn't scary like it's, like the cover says it's supposed to be. It wasn't scary at all. It's just kind of a mystery, and I did enjoy it. And I thought I'd give another one of her books a try. This was quite popular when it first came out a couple of years ago, but I was able to get this copy used, and I'm really excited. It is a thriller, and that is all I know. I believe it takes place on a ship because it is a cabin. So let's see... It doesn't really give a synopsis, but it says, An edge-of-your-seat thriller set on the most beautiful yacht in the world. Okay, so the cabin in the yacht. Full of great characters and twists. Y'all should check it out. <laughs> That's what the review says on the back. Uh, a psychological thriller that will keep readers spellbound. So, yeah, it's, it's very much an October read, and I cannot wait to get into this book. So there you have it. I didn't want to overwhelm myself this week because I am still, even though I'm not traveling this week, I will be traveling next week and I and I just want to ease myself back in because I have been sick and, you know, all of the traveling is kind of throwing me for a loop because they're all back to back and being sick isn't fun either. But anyway, I hope you all have a good day. I hope you all have a good week ahead of you. Happy fall, everyone, and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.